Uh, Yolanda, have you, can you tell us what a lemming is? I'm just taking a guess. Yeah. Um, a type of monkey? It's a type of monkey? It sounds a little bit like a monkey, right? Like a lemma, lemur or something like that, right? It sounds a little bit like a monkey, but it's not actually a monkey. Uh, I'll give you the answer very soon. Uh, Jeremy, what do you think a lemming is? It's a mouse-like rodent. Uh, <laughs> very good. <laughs> it's a, it looks like a little bit of a mouse, like a little, uh, um, uh, a little guinea pig, right? But do you know what's, what's special about a lemming that makes it different to a mouse, Jeremy? Do you know what's, what's so special about a lemming? It has a different name. It has a different name? Well, actually, uh, it has a different name, but lemmings are famous because they always follow the lemming that is in front of them, okay? So the, the lemmings always travel in a row, okay? And they always travel one behind another lemming and then a lemming behind another lemming and a lemming behind another lemming. And then wherever the lemming in front of them goes, they will follow that lemming, okay? So they are very, um, uh, they rely on the lemming in front of them because they're just not really, really smart animals. But what does the animal in front do? What does the lemming in front do? Who, who's telling that lemming where to go? Well, no one. No one is telling that lemming where to go. That lemming is just plodding along and then if it falls into a river, then the whole bunch of lemmings behind it are going to fall into the river at the same time. And there's uh, some people like lemmings as well. So there are some people who, are, are, when you say, oh, you're such a lemming, it means that you just follow everyone else and you're not thinking for yourself, which is not a good thing, right? Because if the lemming in front of you uh, falls off a cliff, then you'll end up falling off a cliff as well, okay? So uh, lemmings uh, are not very intelligent creatures. Okay, so when I start as a clone, repeat until touching the home button. And then we move 10 steps, okay? So if you, if, I, if you press it now, you'll see that when I, when I put the line, it's going to draw and then the uh, cat's going to move towards the end of the line, okay? So we're trying to make it so that we guide the cats towards the home button. See that cat has reached the home button? Okay. So, um, now what we need to do is, uh, we need to fix a problem because when we press go and then we do this, when we go up a slope, the cat doesn't know how to go up a slope. Okay. So we need to add another repeat until block to make it move up until it's not touching the red line when it's on the ground. Okay. So here. We repeat until touching home button, and then we add another repeat until block. But this repeat until block is going after, whoops, here, okay? So it has to be after the repeat until block for touching the red button, and after that, that block closes, but before the first um, repeat until touching home loop finishes, okay? Make sure it's in the right spot. And then we go repeat until, and then we want it to repeat going up until it is not touching the red. So the not operator is in operators. And then we put in not, so not over here. So we repeat until it is not touching color red. So we go to sensing and then we find touching color red. So it's not touching color red. And then inside this block would make it move up. So it's changing its Y by two. So go into the uh, motion, change set Y, oh no, whoops, not, not set Y, change Y. We had minus two before when it was falling, but now it's going up a step. We go to positive two change y by two. So now, if you press go, you can draw a, a little line, and then your cat is going to follow it all the way home. 